Hello everyone and welcome to part 6 of my A350 Airbus video. In my last video I explained how I prepare the surface of my molds after they are printed. In this video I'm going to show you how I finish them. I'm also going to lay up an cell holder and assemble it. I'm also just about done printing my molds for the fuselage for the Airbus as you saw in the thumbnail. The left one is done and I have a couple more sections to print for the right one. Later in this video I'm going to explain how to uh, paint parts and molds and give you some secret tips on it. So let's get started. And remember, like and subscribe. secret tips on it. One of the biggest benefits of painting a mold is to save weight. If you paint the surface of the mold before laying the part up, you will use less paint. Another benefit, you will not have any pinholes to fill and if your molds are shiny, your parts will come out of the molds looking brand new and less bodywork finish to do on them. If you use PVA release agent, you will have a hard time trying to paint a design in the mold due to not being able to mass off sections. If you mask a section in the mold and you use PVA, when you pull your mask off, you will most likely pull up PVA as well. Here's the secret to masking if you use PVA. Use a movable mask. A movable mask is a sheet of cardboard you hold over a section in the mold you do not want painted. You will not get a sharp line like you would with regular masking, but the movable mask will allow you to paint some designs in the mold. Now, in order for you to paint designs in the mold, your molds must be waxed really well. You will be able to mask off sections over the wax, wax and paint them. Here's another secret. Experiment with wax and paint on a sheet of glass to figure out what wax and paints do not react to each other. Wax a sheet of glass, then try some paint over the wax and lay down some fiberglass cloth and epoxy. Wait for it to dry, then pull it up to see what uh, see that they react to each other. I use TR brand mold release, actually TR108. This is the only brand I have used when painting the molds and it works well. TR sent me a can of it to use my molds in my Airbus build. So if you have a single color, use PVA to make sure you do not get any sticking. Here's a tip. You must paint a backing color on certain colors when painting in the molds. If you do not, your color can be translucent on the part. Also know that if you want to paint a stripe on a part over a certain area, you must paint the stripe first in the mold, then the backing color. If you paint in the mold, you must paint over PVA. Also know that if you want to paint a stripe on a part over a certain color, you must paint the stripe first in the mold, then the backing color. If you paint in the molds, just paint over the PVA or wax, then lay up your part. Pretty simple. See you in the next episode. Subscribe!